Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have some more sneak peeks for the anniversary event this Friday at Diamond Art Club. More details in the description box of this video. Get ready. I have three more sneak peeks so this is going to be a longer video so I'm going to have timestamps down below. If there's a particular kit that you're looking for you've got the names up above so I'm just going to get right into it. I'm going to go small for, or large first. The opposite of what I just said. Excuse me. I hope that you're all whoop, having a great day. Uh, it is a beautiful bright sunny day here in South Cary and I'm sending all of those wonderful sunny vibes to you all. First up we have a gorgeous kit from an artist that I unboxed not too too long ago. This is a Barrett Biggers kit and it actually has the name of one of my favorite people here on YouTube. Wolfpack! Wolfpack diamond painting. <laughs> this is so beautiful. It is a square drill kit and it's 70 by 93 centimeters. So it is quite a big one, but still doable. And I think that it's going to look great. I haven't seen the rendering yet. So this is a surprise to me as well. Let's get it out now. No, no. Okay. That's everything in the box. So we've got the the kit, Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. We have a sticker that has the artwork on the side for either the box or for your journal. And we have a toolkit. I'm going to show you this toolkit, but I'm not going to bother with the other ones. This is their new toolkit, their upgraded toolkit. Let's see what comes inside. So we've got diamond painting pen and tweezers that are branded. They're very sharp, be careful. It also comes with a pen grip, a squishy. We have the diamond painting wax. There are two plates of wax in this little case, which is so cute. I like it a lot. We've got a cover minder. That's really adorable. This has a lot of glitter inside. You just take off the one, whoop, I think it's missing, oh no. There is a magnet missing. Um, that's all right. I have plenty of magnets, but you would just take a second magnet and you would pop it on the back here and it'll hold down the cover paper on your diamond painting. Then we have some washi tape. You can use this for the edges if you like or to section off uh, the cover paper to make it easier to diamond paint the sections. We have a drill tray with a stopper. I'm putting the stopper in right now. Oy like this, and we have two multi-placer tips for your diamond painting pen if you choose to use them. And we have a bag of baggies. If it happens that this is your first diamond painting and you don't get the second magnet in your toolkit, please just message them on social media or send them an email and they will they will make sure that you get that, that other magnet. That's a fluke, I've never seen that happen before. Let's go ahead and open up the kit and see all the prettiness inside. It's so big. Here we go. Now, here is our canvas. Ooh, our drills. Wow, that there's a lot of drills in here. Oh my goodness. That's what the color palette looks like. So there is a lot of 3865 it looks like. And then we've got grays and blues and a little bit of purple as well. Stunning. We'll look at those colors in just a moment. We also have a instruction booklet. <laughs> My brain is working. Instructions on how to diamond paint right here. And you can join the group and everything like that on their Facebook. And then we have our inventory or legend. We have 56 colors in this painting. That's incredible. That says to me that there's a lot of confetti in this painting. So if you cannot do confetti, then maybe this one will not be for you. We'll see. We'll see in just a minute. But up here, we can see any number under 150 is uh, an AB diamond, meaning that it's got a special coating on the outside. And I'll show you that in just a minute. One to four. There's four of them there. Wonderful. So cool. Look at 
those eyes. Oh, so pretty. All right, let's see what this canvas looks like, shall we? I'm gonna roll it backwards so that it'll sit flat. This is a soft velveteen canvas. Very malleable, doesn't wrinkle. You can roll it backwards and it won't hurt the kit at all. It doesn't leave creases or anything like that. So when you see this kind of stuff, that actually comes out. There's, it won't stay in it like a double seated ad adhesive would. So if we just squish, 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 and then whoop. <gasps> Whoa, <laughs> wow, this is beautiful. Okay, let me see if I can, it's so big, y'all. <laughs> It doesn't fit on my table, so I'm going to show you in sections. All of the background here, most of the background is a solid color, but you can see little sprinkles of other grays in the background, right? Uh, then we have different scenes. So we have the wolf howling at the moon inside this portrait of a wolf. This is one of Barrett Bigger's styles is taking one animal and then putting scenery inside of it and I think it's so gorgeous we have a brown wolf here and then we have the pro side profile of this wolf as well as some forest going on around here this is gorgeous let's go ahead and take a closer look at the symbols I'm going to do my best here to bring it up it's so big <laughs> so as you can see we've got some quite a lot of symbols going on. Uh, we've got arrows, we've got the diamonds. Um, I would highly recommend using the legend, the stickers on the legend to mark the different colors in your kit. I also recommend going by symbol when you're diamond painting so that there's no confusion because the brain can play tricks on us, can't it? Oh, look at that. So adorable. Oh, I love it so much. All right. <laughs> it is so big. It's so big. But his little face is so cute. So as you can see, this is my hand for reference. This angle that you're watching this in is a wide angle. So you're going to see it. It's going to look a little bit skewed, but this is the only way that I can get the whole picture in the frame. I'm going to bring you in so we can look at the drills and then you'll see this is this is the one X on my camera. Let's look. If you'd like to skip ahead, feel free. I will show you where the ABs go right after this. There is a lot of white. There's so much, so much white. All right, let's 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 see, how many bags do we have? We're starting off this strip with 937, and then we have 3865, this is off-white. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 bags of 3865, wow. Then we have 3861, 779, 101, here's our first AB. So as you can see, it's got that extra sparkle, 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 very pretty. They call it AB after Aurora Borealis because of that. 935, we have two bags. This is like a very dark gray color. 762 and 648, let's go to the next strip. 318, two bags, 334, 712, we have one, this is kind of like a creamy color, one, two, three, four bags, 317, 414, we have two bags, lots of gray, unsurprisingly, 451, 3841, 452, 775, 336, 647, 550, and 782. Lots of drills. Oh my goodness. 762. 415. We have two bags. 3371. There are two bags. This is dark brown. 
934 is a dark gray, almost brown. 322, 310, 413, 3860, we have two bags. 3325, 3024, 938, 3346, 3799, 632, 117. Here's another AB. This one's a mauve or a tan. Very pretty. 312. Last strip here is 3772, 327, 792, 38, 34, 798, 158, 823, 436, 3347, 939, 704, 3837, 208, 356, 132, we have a, an orange, a light orange, 742, 209, 993, 111, ooh, that's pretty. That's like a magenta color on the AB, and 3801. Now, let's have a look and see where do those ABs actually go? So first up, we have the blue, 101, and that is the number one on this kit. It's all up in the face here all along these lines, just like that. There's a few more down here as well, around the nose. And I saw some just up here in this area, up above and in the moon right there. Number two is the magenta and that should stand out quite a bit. Number two, maybe it won't. Maybe there's only a few of them. Sometimes this happens. <laughs> Aha, yes, I only see it here, right here. There are six drills right there. That's all I see for number two, but that's okay. Number three is the tan or mauve, and that I'm gonna assume is in the wolf somewhere. Number three. Oh, I just saw some number ones at the very tip of the ear up there. Three, where are you, number three? Oh, here's one. There's some. There's a very light sprinkling in here. I see number eight. That one is a little bit harder to find. It doesn't stand out as much, but I'm sure it is in here. There's some more ones. Any more three? Oh, there's some threes over here on the side. And I think that's it. There's just a little tiny sprinkle of them. Oh, there's some up here as well. They've got the threes and the eights really close together. And I would just suggest that maybe three and eight shouldn't be that close together. It makes it really hard to find them. But if you're going symbol by symbol on the canvas and section by section, it shouldn't be too hard. I definitely wouldn't open up the entire canvas to, to work on it once. Number four though is the yellow and you can see it here in the eyes of course and there's a few of them scattered just here as well as the eyes of that wolf and that's it. That's all the ABs for this one. This is beautiful. This is gorgeous. I love the rendering. I love the fur. It's beautiful. I know that any wolf lover out there is gonna absolutely adore this kit and it'll keep you busy for a long time because it is huge. But that's all I have for this one. Let's open the next one. Let's go ahead and open a round drill kit, shall we? I know that I've seen a lot of people talk about how there's so many more square kits these days, but I'll be honest with you. I think that a lot of the images that they've chosen to be square need to be square. And if you need some help on understanding why that is, I do have a video, it's, it's very old now, but I have a video detailing what the difference is and why that matters. So this one, we've got another Manny Manzano, look. It's the light bearer. She is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. So round drill, 51 by 84 centimeter. Let's look, I am. So excited. Ah! So again, we have the toolkit. 
the kit and the sticker. Just trying to get everything sorted. So there is our sticker. Here's our toolkit, and I'm just going to peek inside. I'm not going to take everything out because it's basically all the same except for the color of the pen and the cover minder. That one's a macaron. Very cool. Do what makes you sparkle. Look how tiny it is. <laughs> so this is more of a, a longer portrait style. Why can I never open these correctly? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's get out the drills and a sticker sheet just here. Instructions. Look. Look at the beautiful artwork. Oh, my goodness. And she has a beauty mark and everything. Oh, so pretty. If you like brown and tan, this is ideal. 47 colors. Gorgeous. And there are four AB drills. So let's see what the rendering looks like. There's the drills. That's the color palette that we're looking at. Lots of brown. But is she's going to look stunning. Alrighty. One thing also to keep in mind when you're looking at a round drill kit from Diamond Art Club is that what you see is the symbols and the colors can be a little bit different when it has drills on it. Oh my goodness. It looks so good. <gasps> look, look at the rendering. Oh my gosh. Her hair has so many colors. It's going to look stunning. And most of the black is centered around the sunflowers, which is so apropos. Um, and also in the background, some of the background, not all of the background. Oh, so beautiful. I love, I love how they're using this color here to draw your eyes into her. This is the dress. Beautiful. Look at those gorgeous sunflowers. I forgot to show you, but on all of their kits, they have the details of the painting, the artist, and everything down here at the bottom. So definitely that'll help you if you ever forget who your artist is. This is the legend on both sides there as well. And I'll show you the drill field. With the round kits, there is a guide circle to help you to place those diamonds. Just just as an extra little help, just in case. Because without, without those circles, it can be a little hard to place diamonds, especially if you're just starting to diamond paint. So let's go ahead and get into the drills. Have a look. Ooh, look at these pretty colors. Let's get you in so that you can really see. 3776, 898, 3853. Th there's two bags. <laughs> then we have our first AB. That's an orange AB, just like the other kit. You can see here that they do. They shine. They sparkle so well. Looks so good. 3768, 300, 400. My two favorite colors. <laughs> 433, 3816, 444, 442, 445, 3877, 3855, and 3371, which is that dark brown, and 741. We've got 301 and 141. This is another AB, the white AB, and 5200, pure white. Last strip, 646, 645, 3023, 
436, 951, 3024, 3346, 100, a sage green AB, 644, 775, 347, 103, which is a red AB, slightly on the corally pink side, and 351. Awesome. So let's see where these go on the kit. We've got number one as the sage green. That is in the tips of the leaves here, just in there. Let me zoom you out so that you can properly see where I'm pointing. Up here in the edges of these leaves. Are there any more? Yeah, and down here in these leaves as well. Number two is that corally red. That is in her lipstick. That's it. Number three is the yellow, and that's everywhere. That's in some of the leaves of these sunflowers. That's here in the tips of her dress as well, which resemble the sunflower, mostly in her dress and in the flower. Number four is the white, that's 141. And in Mandy Manzano, that's always the speckles. So I don't know if you can see it from here, but if you look and you see the little white dots, those are all of the speckles and that is all AB. There are no ABs in these little swirls of her hair. It is just in the dots around. So we've got some white here as well, here, 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 these lines and these dots. We've got them in here, those little dots as well. And then the lines in the background. Very pretty. This is going to look so good. She's so beautiful, isn't she? Oh, I would love to know as well down below if you're still watching. Let me know which of these canvases you like and that you think that you might get. The last diamond painting I have for you today is another Mandy Manzano, but this time it's a square drill. And this is so pretty. It has my color palette that I love. I am particular about the color palette, but have a look. It's called I've Got You, and it's an angel holding the earth. Isn't it beautiful? I love it when Mandy does clouds. Her clouds are just so pretty to me. This is a 56 by 66 centimeter, so actually not so big in the grand scheme of Diamond Art Club paintings. <laughs> not so big. All right, let's see what this one looks like. Oh. Oh dear. Mm, it's trying to foil me. Hold on. Okay. We got it out. All right. <laughs> so we've got the same thing. Sticker. Toolkit. I'm not going to bother opening it this time. And we've got the canvas. Open for me. Ugh. Nope. Ugh. Yuck. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. All right. So we've got the diamonds. And our papers. So, instructions. Wow, there's 55 colors in this one, y'all. 55 and 3 AB diamonds. <gasps> wow, that's a lot of color. These are our drills. So pretty. Look at them in a minute. And let's see what we got. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Tis the season <laughs> for sneezes. Are you excited for Labor Day? Are you doing anything special? Are you celebrating or are you staying home? Let me know. <gasps> wow. Oh, this is so manageable. Oh my gosh. This is, I really like this. Okay, so. It is a little bit blocky. This is a color block heaven, okay? But I think that this is really doable and this would be excellent for a beginner or someone who's young and just getting started. That's just my opinion. I also really like that this time with this painting compared to Worlds Away, um, I think that the planets that she's done, or these moons, whatever they you might interpret them as, um, they are really bold, and they stand out a lot, and I like that. I really like that. 
This is going to look incredible. I actually, do you know what? I'm, I'm liking it more now that I see the rendering than I did when I saw the original picture. I'm sorry, Mandy. It's nothing against you, but I just, I worried about how this painting would come out at this size, but I'm actually, I'm shook. <laughs> I like it a lot. So as you could tell, this is a square drill diamond painting. These are the symbols. They are really nice. There is a faint line to help you to place the diamonds. And I love that it's so sparkly. It's so sparkly. It's gonna be so much fun to do. Let's look at these diamonds. Let's see. Are you ready? We're gonna do it together. Got 939. 797, 775, there's two bags. Same with 3811, 437, 798, 815, 436, 898, 333, I love this purple, such a pretty purple, 938, 820, 642, 312, 351, 640, 103, here's our first AB and it's that reddish color again, 3836, let me see why this, all right, we're shedding more light on the situation, hopefully that helps, 310, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 310s, 3766, 823, 322, 644, 796, and 939. Very warm here today, y'all. 3865, there's two bags. 334, 336, 598, 155, beautiful. 347, 119, ooh, purple AD. <laughs> okay, I love it already. <laughs> 119, 3809, 210, 597, 3746. 352, 435, 340, 444, 3787, 738, 3325, 739, 834, 907, 3810, 141, there's a white AB, 3837, not very many of them, 905, 904, and 906. So let's see where those three ABs go, shall we? Let's zoom out. Number one is the red. So those are here and here in the robe. Very pretty, highlighting the robe right there. Number two is the purple. And if I were a purple AB, here it is, in the clouds, right here, and here, and here. Anywhere else? And in this planet or moon right here. Very nice. Number three is 141. And that is just like before in all of those little dots right there. All the stars, these little droopy stars here. Love them. So pretty. It is not in the outline. There's a lot of white outline in this piece. It is not there. It is not in the wings. It's just in the stars. I think that's a really good idea because there is a lot of black and white in this painting. You can see it, you know, right here. Outlining the black is the white. That makes for bigger, bolder lines. And if those were all AB, it'd be really distracting. So instead, all of the little dots of stars around those little white circles that in my opinion just makes makes it'll make it pop in the end what do you think i love it i love it this is definitely going in my collection i'm gonna save this one let me know down below which ones you're gonna get these are the last of the sneak peeks from me this week but this is gonna be a fabulous shopping day and i hope that you enjoy 
Thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you to Diamond Art Club for supplying me with sneak peeks to show everyone. I hope that you have a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend ahead, and I will see you all soon in my next one. Take care, everyone. Bye!